Well, a school dance, especially prom or homecoming, is a huge milestone. Imagine missing out on these fun nights because you don't have the proper attire. Well, our next guest is on a mission to make sure local teens have access to free formal wear. Megan Gutensberger is the co-founder and director of Riley's Arc, and she joins us now. It's so good to have you here, Megan. Thank Thanks so for much. being here. Well, before we get into all the lovely dresses that you've brought today, let's first talk about the story behind Riley's Ark and how it all started, because this is so, so neat what you've done here. Thank you. Riley's Ark is truly a community that is created to have a big impact through mm -hmm. small acts of kindness. And it was founded in my daughter's honor, Riley. Okay. She passed away about six years ago now after just a fluke accident. Oh. And she was in the hospital for about 28 days before mm -hmm. she finally passed. And it was okay. during those 28 days that we heard the things that she did that would impact people in a really special way. She was 12 and a half. She didn't have money. She didn't have all these things. <laughs> yeah. But she could write a note to someone and tuck it in a place for them to oh. find later. It was always misspelled. Or mm -hmm. she would hug you before you knew you needed it. And that was the way she shared joy and everything. And so when we realized that she was not going to make it, we wanted to do something in her honor. And so Riley's Ark is all about acts of random kindness. Oh. And it's little things that anyone can do. This is so inspiring. Megan, first of all, I'm so sorry to hear Thank about th what happened. T t it's just, you know, when you take something like that and you do something like what you're doing today is mm -hmm. so motivating and inspiring. And it's also a, a, a way to honor her and who she was in life, right? Okay, so the Be Happy Boutique kicks off this weekend. Let's talk about what that is and how people in the community can join in and be a part of what you've started here. Awesome. So the Be Happy Boutique happened after we would try to create events where people could do things to help other people. Okay. And we started with a Halloween boutique and then I was talking to some people and I thought, what about the young adults? What about the teens? And for them, dressing up and transforming and just having that moment where they're like, oh, yeah, this is me. This is me. Is homecomings and prom. So we mm -hmm. set about doing our first Be Happy Boutique right before COVID. So that was COVID, um, but we've done yeah. this for several years now and we have thousands of different things to wow, offer. Wow, you guys have really grown. So quite a big selection there. Now, can you show us some of the items that will be at the boutique? Absolutely. So one of the newest additions is our menswear. So we okay. have everything um, and we really are billing, billing this as formal wear for all. Okay. No questions, whatever you decide to wear, it's for you. It's for you. We have everything from short dresses to the low highs mm -hmm. and then our long dresses for prom. Oh, how pretty. Um, and this year we are moving, it's a once a year event. So okay. this is the time to get your prom, your homecoming, something to wear to a wedding, graduations, yeah. all of it. It's time to get those out of the way because you never know what event may come knocking at your door next. Well, how much do you charge for some of these items? So this is the best part. Okay. We follow a pay what makes you happy model, um, zero to a million or more. I mean, I would take it. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> but truly it is meant to be oh, accessible. Wow. We okay. want people to come in. There are no questions asked. You come in, you find the dress or the suit or the outfit that is perfect for you that makes you shine. And we just ask that you do something kind for someone in return. Oh my gosh. See, I think that is beautiful. Not only are you helping so many people in the community, but it's also teaching a message. Well, how can people donate as well? Yeah, so all of the dresses and suits and everything that we have are pretty much gently used, ready to wear. Okay. And have been donated by the community. Um, some of them, I think one of these actually still has tags, but um, they can donate still at the store. We are open this weekend, okay. the 3rd through the 5th, and then the 10th through the 12th. People can come in and bring donations. We'll get them racked right away and out to people to make them happy. That is wonderful. Well, walk me through your decision process for creating these kind of events that help give back to the community really our criteria is joy we yeah. just want to create joy that's what Riley was all about and it was mm -hmm. just bringing a smile to people's face so whether it's dressing up for young adults dressing up for kids at Halloween a 5k at Mother's Day oh. or doing little one-off things for families that need it it's does it bring joy and that's what matters because kindness ripples and it one really act does. of kindness becomes another 
and you and sometimes a small act of kindness can make somebody's day can make somebody's week it truly Changes goes everything. a long way and I'll say this much the message that you're portraying here the acts of kindness really goes a lot it, it says so much about Riley and Riley's arc and everything that you guys do so thank you so much for Absolutely. coming in today and for continuing this wonderful mission the be happy boutique kicks off this weekend at the streets at South Glen it'll also be open next weekend so make sure you stop by and get your formal wear you can also learn how you can be the ripple for kindness at Riley's arc.org.